Okay, so if you have a blocky strap, uh, there's a pose against the wall uh, and the roll today. That's what the props you will need. Uh, it will get started uh, on this. So if you're coming into a position, a seated position that's comfortable for you to sit. So for your perspective, stepping into a safe space. Activate your feet, spread, so spread the balls of your feet. Close your eyes. Give yourself this time now to notice how you feel. And giving yourself time to set your intent for your practice today. So through the practice today, we'll be working in opening the area around your, your heart and chest cavities. We'll also be working in terms of really grounding down into, into your mat, into the earth, and feeling the energy, drawing energy from the earth and moving that through, through your body. So really working to find the, the connection uh, with self from feet right the way through to heart and through the rest of your body. Choose an area, choose an area that's becoming, that you're becoming, your attention is drawn to. And breathe into that area. As you go through your class today, give yourself what your body needs. It's not pushing so deep so that you're hurting and that you're kind of numbing yourself out. So allow yourself to stay alert in the poses. Allow yourself to feel the poses. Bring the soles of your feet together and flex the toes back towards your shins. Kanyama is Kapalabhati breathing, 80 pumps. Uh, in this way, hands by hip, sit tall, and then take a breath, sharp exhales through the nose, moving belly, And then breathe in deeply. Hold a breath, hold for 10. Keep spine long, keep feet active. And finding that moment of, of release so that you allow the breath to move through your body without the tension. And forward of shins and exhale through mouth, strong exhale. Exhale completely, Uriana, chin tucks into chest, pull your belly in. Feel as if your belly's moving away from pelvic bone and the belly moves away from thighs. Shoulders soften. 
be feeling that you are hollowing your belly out. Release, push the floor away, breathe in and come all the way back up. Bring your left foot over your right for, shoe, uh, for knee power. If that's difficult, uh, then, sorry, that's your left foot. This is half knee power. You want to go further, bring your right foot towards your left hip. And then try not to be sitting on your right heel. So from here, you breathe in, inhale for 10. Hold the breath, 10. Hands forward and exhale. Exhale completely, tuck chin in. Pull belly in, pull it in, pull it up. Spreading ribs, spread diaphragm, and keep feeling for hollowing your belly out. Release, push the floor away, breathe in, come up, and bring hands by hips. Be active. Inhale for 10. Hold the breath for 10. Hands forward and exhale. Exhale completely, chin tucks in, full belly in. Pull it all the way back towards the spine. Keep feeling for lengthening belly away from pelvis. Release, push the floor away, breathe in, come up and change the cross of your legs. Right foot is over, left. And if that's difficult, then straighten your right leg. Right leg will reach straight forward. Hands by hips, be active. Then breathe in for 10. Hold the breath for 10. Hands forward, exhale. Exhale completely, chin tucks in, pull your belly in, pull it all the way back to spine, spreading ribs, spread diaphragm. Inhale, release, push floor away, breathe in, come up, and hands by hips. Be active, press down into sit bones, breathe in for 10. Hold the breath for 10. Hands forward and exhale. Exhale completely, chin is in. Now pull belly in, pull it in, pull it up. Keep feeling your lengthening through the spine and giving yourself time in the pose to notice how your body feels. Inhale, release, push floor away, breathe in as you come all the way up back. Half lotus with your uh, left foot over your right thigh, by your heel is by your hip. That's a difficult reach, then stay cross leg seated, or you can straighten your right leg. Bring your right hand across your left thigh and your left arm reaches around the back, tucking it onto your right thigh. Some of you might be able to take hold of your foot, but ease your way into the pose. Pressing down into the sit bone and breathe in length and spine. As you breathe out, you're twisting towards the left. As you breathe, breathe into sternum, lift chest. As you exhale, you're twisting to left. 
Now breathe in and then expand your ribs out towards your armpits. As you breathe out, you're twisting, twist the left. One more breath into your spot, deep breath. And as you breathe out, twist. Inhale, release. Bring your left foot over your right thigh, just above the knee. And ease your right foot out slightly so you're not, the heel is moving away from your uh, sit bone. Uh, twisting towards the foot. So your right hand is by right hip, reach the hand about 12 inches away from that hip. Press down into left sit bone. Inhale, reach your left arm is up. And as you breathe out, the left arm is coming down your foot. Your left foot presses against your left arm. Press down into left sit bone, breathe in, lengthen left side ribs away from left hip. Exhale, fold, moving chest towards the uh, left foot. And then breathe in, lifting belly away from pelvis. As you exhale, as you fold a little deeper, keep sending your left thigh back and away from you. Breathe into lower back as you're lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And exhale as you fold. One more breath, deep breath. Exhale as you fold over, your chest is moving towards your left foot. Inhale, release. Push go away, breathe in. As you're coming all the way up and change. Half, half lotus with your right foot over your left, your right heel is moving towards your left hip. Bring your left on the hand across so your arm is pressing against your right thigh and your right arm is reaching back so it's taking hold of the foot or maybe sliding into clothing or you can have that hand to the floor. Pressing down into sit bone, breathe in length and spine. And as you breathe out, you're twisting towards the right. Chin remains aligned with chest. Now breathe to sternum and lift chest. Keep it spine long. Exhale as you twist to the right. Breathe in and expand your ribs out to the side, right out to armpits. Exhale, take it a little deeper if you can as you twist. Now pressing down into your sit bone, breathe in, length and spine. So length the ribs away from sacrum. Mid ribs away from lower ribs and upper ribs away from mid ribs. And exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, release. And then bring your right foot over your left thigh just above the knee and reach out with your heel. Your left foot, glide it a bit slightly forward so it's under your uh, right thigh and knee. Place twisting towards the foot. So right hand is by right hip, reach the hand about 12 inches away from the hip. Press it into left and to right sit bone. Breathe in, stretching your right arm is up. And as you breathe out, the hand comes to the floor and your right foot presses against your right arm. Breathe in, lengthen ribs away from the uh, left right hip. As you breathe out, lean with your chest as you fold towards your right foot. Breathe in and move your belly away from top of uh, right thigh. And as you fold over your left thigh, you move your chest towards your right foot. Your right sit bone is reaching the floor. Breathe into your spot, deep breath. Exhaling, allow your body to melt forward. One more breath here, deep breath. And as you breathe out, you're folding towards your right foot. Inhale, release. Then ease on top. Straighten your legs. The legs are reaching forward, the toes are flexed back towards the shin. 
keep reaching legs forward, sit down, sit up tall, sit bones pressing down, breathe in, lift belly, diaphragm chest. And as you breathe out, reach your heels away from you, flex your toes back towards your shins. Deep breath, lengthen out of lower back. And as you breathe out, the ball of your body is reaching forward, toes flex back. Breathe in, lift belly, lift diaphragm, lift chest. And as you breathe out, keep lengthening your legs. Keep your left foot forward, toes and flex back. Bring your right foot back so that the right heel is by your glutes. Otherwise, you can tuck the foot in uh, so that the heel is by the groin. So you have those options that are available for you to do. Seated side bend with one leg straight. Bringing your right hand back so your right hand takes hold of your right foot or the fingertips to the floor, or you can sit on your right hand, palms facing downward. Look down into your right left sit bone, inhale, stretch your left arm up, open to the left side. Exhale, the left hand is down on the inside of your left foot. Now relax your left ear with left shoulder. Inhale, lift sternum. Keep moving chest up towards the chin. Exhale, glide your right shoulder away from your right ear. Now breathe to the right side of your chest, deep breath. So you feel this right up by your uh, pectoral muscles and armpit on the right side. And as you breathe out, glide your right shoulder away from your right ear, but keep your neck relaxed. Breathe into the right side of neck. Feel as if you're lengthening your right ear away from right shoulder. And as you breathe out, reach your sit bones back down to floor. On the next breath, bring your right arm all the way around the back and tuck it onto your left thigh hip or into clothing. And as you breathe out, gliding both shoulders down. Breathe in, lift diaphragm. Really feel this lifting of diaphragm. Your chest will lift. As you breathe out, reach back. So your right elbow is reaching down to floor. Your shoulder is moving away from your right ear. On the next breath, release your right arm and reach your right arm up, up to sky. Exhale, lengthen your right arm forward over your right ear. Feet still active. Breathe in and expand your ribs, especially lifting out of your left side. Exhale, lengthen, reach forward with the fingertips of your right hand, reach your right sit bone back. Breathe to sternum and keep moving chest upwards to chin. Lower your right shoulder slightly, then wrap the right shoulder as you reach in your right arm forward. Use your right arm breathing to pull your body up. Use your left arm to support head and neck as you come on up. And then change, change slightly. Right foot reaches straight forward. And your left foot is either tucked in so that the heel is by your groin. Otherwise, you're bringing your left foot back to the heel is by your glutes. Your left hand takes hold of the ankle or the turn, turn the palm of the hands down, sit onto the hand or just reach the hand back. Don't think it sits to the floor. Press down into your right sit bone. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Breathe out, the right hand is down on the inside of your right leg. Relax your right ear with right shoulder. You're not holding your left Ankle with your left hand. If you're not sitting on that hand, lift the hand up, reach it back. Now inhale, lift your right side ribs up away from right thigh. Exhale, glide your left shoulder away from left knee. Activate your feet, spreading toes. You breathe in, lengthen ribs away from sacrum. Exhale, relax your jaw, lowering chin slightly towards the right side of chest. Now breathe and lift sternum towards chin. 
Well, shoulders are down on exhale. On the next breath, bring your left arm all the way around the back and tuck it onto your right thigh, hip or clothing. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're reaching your left elbow back towards the floor. Breathe into the left side of your neck, deep breath. Exhale, relax your jaw. Now breathe to sternum, deep breath. Feel as if you're pushing the floor away with your right hand on exhale. So feel the lengthening out of right side. On the next breath, release your left arm. Reach your left arm straight up to sky. Fingers. In your left hand forward over left knee. As you breathe, you're expanding the ribs wide to armpits. Exhale, reach. So feel the opening in the intercostal muscles on your left side. Deep breath, inhale, spread the upper back. Exhale, as you lengthen that left arm forward, reach your left sit bone back. Use your left arm, breathe in to pull your body up. Right hand is supporting your head and neck as you come up. Coming into your abdominal sequence, today your elbow to knee, so it'll be elbow to knee, and then elbow to knee, star spiral pulse, and then have your roll at close by, or abs with the roll. So your abdominal sequence. Lying down onto your back. Clasp your hands behind your head and neck and bend the knees. If your back is okay, heels are just aligned with the knees or just below the knees and toes are flexed to shins. Press your lower back to floor, inhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor, hold the breath. Exhale, curl our bone up and reach your elbows to the left knee. Reach your right leg forward, spread the toes. Relax your right hip and then reach your right thigh forward. Pull up lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath and press your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl our bone up, elbows to right knee, straight and left leg. Now feel you're reaching forward with the insides of your left foot. Reach out, send your uh, left big toe away from the ball of your foot. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Exhale, curl the elbow up. Your elbows are to right knee, to left knee, straight to right leg. Now squeeze your right sit bone to curl bone as you lengthen your right leg forward. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl the elbow up. Your elbows are to your right knee. Now reach your left leg forward. Spread the toes and reach forward with the ball of your left foot. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Press the top rib of the sacrum to floor. Exhale, curl the elbow up. Your elbows are to your left knee. You're reaching your right leg forward. Relax your right hip. Send your right thigh forward away from the hip. Pull lower belly in. Feel your ribs as they compress down onto belly. Now press your lower back down. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl the elbow up. Your elbows are to right knee. Reach your left leg forward. Relax your left hip. Squeeze left sit bone to tailbone as you send your left leg forward. Pull belly in, compressing the ribs down to belly and pressing your lower back to floor. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath and press your lower back down to the floor. Star spiral pulse. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to left knee. Now reach your right leg up. Bend the knees slightly, flex the toes towards the shins. Curl tailbone up and then Pulse one, pulse two, pulse 
three. Now keep reaching your right heel up towards the sky. Send the heel away from you. Lift the chest, reach elbows up and pull lower belly in. Inhale, go back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath and press into the lower back down. Exhale, both elbows up, your elbows up to your right knee. Reach your left leg up, flex your toes, knees to bend. Now as you curl the elbows up, pulse three times. Pulse and pulse. Now keep reaching your left heel to the sky, toes flex to shins, pull lower belly in, lift your chest and reach your elbows up, pull belly in and press your lower back down to the floor. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, pressing the top rim, to the, top rim of the sacrum to the floor. And exhale, curl the elbow up, your elbows up to your left knee, reaching your right leg out. Now pulse and pulse, and pulse. Keep reaching your right heel to the sky, flex the toes towards the shins, lift your chest, reach your elbows up, now pull the belly all the way down. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and pressing your lower back to the floor. Exhale, both elbows up, your elbows are to your right knee, reach your left leg up, flex the toes, knees bent, now pulse up, exhale, pulse and pulse. Keep reaching your left heel to the sky, reach your elbows up, pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and pressing your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl the elbows up, elbows to left knee. You're reaching your right leg out, bend the knees slightly, and then curl the elbows up and pulse and pulse and pulse. Keep reaching out with your right heel, lift your chest, reach your elbows up, now pull belly in, feel the ribs as they compress down to belly and you're pressing your lower back to floor. Inhale, the back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, your lower back presses the floor. Exhale, curl the elbows up and reach your elbows to your right knee, left leg reaches up, the knees bend slightly. Now exhale, curl the elbows up and pulse, pulse and pulse. Keep reaching your left heel to the sky. Keep the chest lifted as you reach your elbows up. Pull belly in and press your lower back down. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, pressing your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, release, go down, place the soles of your feet onto the floor. And give yourself this time, this moment, just to notice. Notice how you feel, how your belly feels, hips and lower back, how all of these areas are feeling. And then connect, connect your breath with your heart. Allowing yourself to take this soothing breath and this, allow the energy to move through your body. Grab hold of your roll and place the roll between your thighs. Reach your legs up and clasp your hands behind your head and neck. You want to move to the wall so that the heels are up against the wall. You can do so, especially if your back is to you. You can also bend the knees so that the knees are bent. You can move to the wall so that the soles of your feet are on the wall, even with the knees bent. Especially if back is, you're having uh, pain or discomfort into your back. Those are options. Hands clasped behind head and neck, twisting out two parts. Inhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor, hold the breath. Exhale, curl the elbow up, reach the legs straight up, your elbows up to left knee. Squeeze, roll, and squeeze, hip bones to tailbone, pull lower belly in. Feel the ribs as they compress down onto belly. Inhale, come back to center. Hold the breath and press your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl the elbows up, reach your legs straight up, your elbows are to right knee. Squeeze, roll, squeeze, sit bone to tailbone, pull lower belly down to the floor. Inhale, come back to center, hold the breath. The top rib of the sacrum is pressing to the floor. 
Exhale, close elbows up. Reach your legs straight up. Your elbows up to your uh, left knee. Squeeze, roll, and stretching your legs to the sky. Pull up, low belly in. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath and press the top rib of the sacrum to floor. As you breathe out, curl the elbows up. Reach your legs straight up. Your elbows up to your right knee. Squeeze, roll. And stretch your legs to the sky. Pull, pull lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the, don't bend the knees, just hold the breath and press your lower back down. Exhale, curl the elbows up. Now reach your legs straight up. Reach your elbows to your left knee. Squeeze, roll. Squeeze, sit bone to tailbone. Stretch your legs up as you reach your elbows towards the left. Pull up, lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Hold the breath and press the top rib of the sacrum to floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Reach your legs straight up. Your elbows are to your right knee. Squeeze, roll. Squeeze, sit bone to tailbone. Lengthen your legs up as you keep the chest lifted. Pull up, belly in. Inhale, come to center. Hold the breath. Exhale, release. Lower your head and shoulders to the floor and place the soles of your feet down onto the floor. Yeah, move the roll, grab hold of a block and have the block within the touching distance as you set up for a bridge. Is your next pose bridge with the bridge with the block? So your heels, your heels are hip distance apart. Move your heels towards your sit bones. They can be sit bones. They can be aligned with sit bones or they hip distance apart. You relax your arms. So brush your heels first and then relax your arms down by your side. Lock is in touching distance. Pressing your lower back to floor. Feet presses to floor. And then breathe in, lengthen side ribs away from hips. Chest is moving to chin, soften chest, exhale, tilt pelvis, lift pelvis away from the floor. Breathe into your spot, deep breath. And exhale, lift up, pushing the floor away. As you breathe, you're moving belly away from pelvis, your diaphragm is lifting and chest moves to chin. Push the floor away with heels on exhale, lift up, lengthen, your ankles away from heels, grab hold of your block, and then breathe to lower back, deep breath, lengthen your ribs away from sacrum. And if you breathe out, push the floor away, place a block under your sacrum. Anchor down into your right foot, breathe in, lift your left foot up, draw the left knee to chest. And as you breathe out, you're reaching your left leg right up, reach out with the balls of your foot. Breathe into left hip, feel, for gliding left thigh bone away from hip. And as you breathe out, you're lengthening that left leg straight up. Press down into your right foot as you reach. On the next breath, as you breathe in, press your right foot to the floor and lower your left foot down about 10 inches. And as you breathe out, draw the knee to left knee to chest and then straighten your left leg to the sky. Breathe in as you lengthen your left leg away from you. And as you breathe out, draw the knee to chest and then send in that left leg up. Deep breath, inhale. Reversing it, exhale, you're lengthening your left leg away and then draw the knee to chest. Inhale, straightening your left leg up to sky. And as you breathe out, you're lengthening the leg away. Inhale, draw the knee to chest. Exhale, reach your leg right up to sky. Continue and exhale as you're lengthening the leg away from you. Breathe in and draw the knee into chest. Push your floor away with your right foot as you're stretching your right, left leg to sky. Breathe in. 
and as you exhale, lengthen the left leg away from you. Draw the knee towards the chest. Then exhale, place your left foot down onto the floor. Anchor into left foot, breathe in, lift your right foot off the floor, draw the right knee to chest. And as you breathe out, reach in your right foot to the sky. Breathe into right hip, feel the gliding right thigh bone away from pelvis. Press your left foot to the floor as you're stretching your right leg up. On the next breath, as you breathe in, draw your, uh, sorry, lengthen your right leg away from you. And as you breathe out, bend the knee, draw the knee to chest, and then reaching your uh, right leg up to sky. On the breath, lower your right foot down about 10 inches. And as you breathe out, draw the knee to chest and then reach it straight out and up. Take a breath here, deep breath. Press your left foot to floor, exhale, lengthen your right leg away from you. Inhale, draw the knee to chest. As you exhale, reaching your right leg up to sky. Keep pressing your left foot down. Deep breath. And as you exhale, lengthening your right leg away from you. Inhale, knee to chest, right knee to chest. Exhale, reaching your right leg up. Deep breath, inhale. And as you exhale, lengthen that right leg away. Inhale, knee to chest. And exhale, place your right foot down to the floor. Press both feet to the floor. And as you breathe in, move belly away from pelvis, chest to chin. Press your feet to the floor. Exhale, tilt pelvis, push the floor away, lift up, move the block. Deep breath. Exhale, tilt pelvis, lower upper back to the floor. Tilt pelvis, lower mid back to the floor. Tilt pelvis slowly all the way down to the floor. Keep the tilt until you're all the way down. Your next pose is straddle lifting through. If your back is tweaky, you can do frog lifting through instead of straddle lifting through. So your knees are bent, the knees are out towards the side. If you're in frog position, then the heels are aligned with your you are align with your knees and toes are flexed back, or you can have the feet up against the wall. Otherwise, in any event, your hands will be clasped behind your head and neck. You want to do the straddle lifting through the legs are reaching out towards the side. From here, whichever pose you're in, press your lower back to floor. Inhale, lift head, shoulder blades up away from the floor. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up and lengthen your legs out to the side. Reach out with the ball of your feet. Pull the lower belly in. Feel the ribs as they compress down onto belly. Inhale, lower pelvis, but keep head, shoulder blades up. Hold the breath. As you breathe out, curl tailbone up, and then lengthen the legs out towards the side. Compress. Compress the ribs down onto belly. And you press your lower back down. Feel as if you're lengthening sit bones away from you. Inhale, lower pelvis. This time, lift your head, lift your chest, and reach your elbows straight up. As you exhale, curl the elbows up, and then lengthen your legs out towards the side. Pull the lower belly in. Inhale, lower pelvis, and lower your head about an inch. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl the elbows up, and then stretch your legs out. Pull your belly in and press your lower back down to the floor. Curl elbows up again. Inhale, lower pelvis, and lower your head about an inch, hold the breath. And exhale, curl elbows up, now lengthen. Keep lengthening your legs out, reach out with the balls of your feet, pull the lower belly in. Inhale, release, lower your head and shoulders to the floor, use your hands, by the side of your thighs and knees and draw your legs together. Soles of your feet press, press this to the floor. Inhale, lower, uh, roll to your right side, right hand is to the floor by chest, breathe in, push the floor away on exhale, 
as you come all the way up. Use your right hand to support your head and neck as you come all the way up. Come up to your knees for your next pose. Good. Uh, up to knees for dolphin. So bring your hands onto your biceps to measure your distance. Others under the shoulders. And reach the hands forward, spreading the fingers the web of the hand. You can clasp your hands. And so it gives you a little bit more support into shoulders. Otherwise, you're reaching the hands forward. The forearms are parallel. Your elbows are aligned with your shoulders. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders, and relax your upper back. Now breathe deeply into upper back, lift, spread back, curl, toes under. Exhale, lift knees off the floor, and then lengthen the spine. You're pushing the floor away with your forearms and hands. Breathe into side ribs and spread your ribs wide. Exhale, reach your sit bones back. Keep the neck still and relax. Now breathe to the front of heart, deep breath, feel the energizing heart with breath. On the exhale, reach your heels to the floor. As you breathe, spread your ribs. Exhale, back of your thighs, back of the calves, reaches back. On the next breath, lift your left foot up and hook your big toe of the left foot on the Achilles tendons of the right heel. And as you breathe out, reaching both heels to the floor. And breathe in, feel as if you're gliding right thigh bone away from pelvis. And as you exhale with Achilles tendon stretch, your heels to the floor, chest is moving to the chin. Chest is moving towards your thigh. One more here, deep breath. And exhale, reach back, reach heels to the floor and move chest to thighs and knees. Inhale, release, place your left foot to the floor. Lift your right foot up, hook the big toe over the Achilles tendons of the left, and then exhale, reach heels to the floor. As you breathe into your left hip, feel the gliding left thigh away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, reach your heels to the floor and move your chest to thighs and knees. Breathe to the back of your heart and energize your heart with this breath. Now push back on exhale, heels to floor. So you're stretching out the Achilles tendon. On the breath, release your right foot, place your right foot to the floor. And as you breathe out, bend the knees and come all the way down. And take a breath in embryo, relaxing your, fore, your forehead to the floor. Reach your arms back down by your hips. And then you can tuck in a little bit more. Just giving yourself a little bit time here. So you connect with your breath and connect with feeling. Giving yourself time to notice how you feel through the sequences of poses that you've done already. And ease your hands under the shoulders, push the floor away and come up, come up to stand. Your next pose today is Agnisara with hand passes. So your knees are bent, the toes are turned out. Bring your left hand over your right, your knees are bent. Now inhale, deep breath. Exhale, hands to sky. Chin tucks in, suck your belly in, and let it go. Nice and super. Hands out to side, hands back to chest, breathe in. Exhale. Agnisara, nice and slow. Hands forward, hands to chest, breathe in. Exhale. Agnisara, nice and slow. Hands to chest, namaste, breathe in. Hands to earth, exhale. Move the belly nice and slow. Keep pressing feet to floor. 
Right is over, left, breathe in. Hands to sky. Exhale and move the belly as fast as you can. Hands out to side, hands back to chest, breathe in. Exhale and moving belly as fast as you can. Hands forward, hands back to chest, breathe in. Exhale, hands forward. Back to start. Hands to chest, breathe in. Hands to earth, exhale. Move the belly as fast as you can. And then release and stand. Your toe feet together and stand at the front of your mat. Coming into your salutations, feet together, press down with your feet, lift the toes, spread the toes and spread the balls of your feet. As you exhale, hands together at your chest. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky, telescoping ribs as you lengthen your arms up. Exhale, fold forward, that is in, hands to the floor. Lunge, inhale, step your left leg back, bend your left knee, knees to the floor, push the floor away as you reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, bend the knees, and as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows in. Cobra, inhale, move chest and ribs forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Lunge, breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands, right knees to the floor. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms up to sky. Exhale, hands down, step your right leg forward, forward bend. Inhale, stand, lengthen through the spine as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands together, action. Inhale, arms up, telescoping ribs as you reach up. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. Inhale, step your right leg back, bend your right knee, right knees to the floor, push the floor away as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, bend the knees, exhale, lower down, keep elbows in. Cobra, inhale, move chest and ribs forward as you lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Lunge, breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands, left knees to the floor. Push the floor away as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left foot forward, forward bend. Inhale, stand, lengthen through the spine as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands together, action. Inhale, arms up, telescoping ribs. Exhale, fold forward, belly in. Lunge, breathe in, step your left leg back, bend your left knee, push the floor away as you reach in your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down and step your right leg back for plank, reaching back into heels, and as you breathe out, lower down. Cobra, inhale, move chest down, reach forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Lunge, breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands, Right knees to the floor, push the floor away as you lengthen your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your right leg forward, forward bend. Inhale, stand, lengthen through the spine as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands together, action. Inhale, arms up, telescoping ribs. Exhale, go forward, bend is in. Lunge, breathe in, step your right leg back, bend your right knee, pushing the floor away as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left leg back for plank, reaching back into heels, and as you breathe out, lower down. Inhale, cobra, move chest and reach forward, left legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Lunge, breathe in, step your right forward between the hands, left knees to the floor, push the floor away as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left foot forward, forward bend. Inhale, stand, lengthen through the spine, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands together at chest. Chair pose, bend the knees, and as you breathe in, sweep your arms up, lift your chest, reach your sit bones back. Exhale, forward bend. As you breathe in, move chest away from thighs and knees. Exhale, step or hop it back into plank. Lower down, feet, elbows in. Forward, move chest down, reach forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. 
worry one, breathing, step your left foot forward by left hand, right foot towards the right edge of the mat, push the floor away as you reach your arms out towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your right left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels and as you breathe out, lower down. Cobra or up dog, breathe in, move chest and ribs forward as you lengthen the legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in, step your right foot forward by right hand, left foot towards the left edge of the mat. Push the floor away as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your right leg back for plank and reach it back into your heels, lower down and exhale, keep elbows in. Inhale, cobra, move, step the legs back. Exhale, press back down with them. On the breath, bend the knees and as you breathe in, step or hop your legs between the hands. Exhale, fold forward, belly in. Chair pose, knees are bent, inhale, your arms are reaching up, chest lifts. Exhale, stand, hands together, action. Chair pose, breathe in, and sweep your arms up to sky. Exhale, fold forward, belly in. As you breathe in, move your chest forward, away from thighs and knees. Exhale, step, or hop it back into plank. Lower down. Upward facing dog, breathe in, move chest, ribs forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in, step your left foot forward by left hand. Push the floor away as you reach your arms to sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels and as you breathe out, lower down. Upward dog, breathe in, move chest and ribs forward. Legs lengthen back, sit bones touch the heels. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in, step your right foot forward by right hand, left foot towards the left edge of the mat. Push the floor away, reach arms to sky. Exhale, hands down, step, right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, and as you breathe out, lower down. Inhale, cobra, move chest and ribs forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. On the breath, bend the knees, and as you inhale, step or hop your legs between the hands. Exhale, fold forward, belly's in. Chair pose, breathe in, knees are bent, your arms are lifting up, chest is lifted, but your sit bones are reaching back. Exhale, stand, hands together, action. Give yourself a moment. Take a quick drink if you need. We'll be working through a series of poses continuously uh, to the end. Standing up in front of your mat. Chair pose, bend the knees, inhale, sweep your arms up, lift your chest, reach your sit bones back. Exhale, fold forward, belly in, hand to the floor. Breathe in, scoop chest away from thighs and knees. Exhale, step or hop it back into plank, lower down. Cobra, inhale, move chest and ribs forward, length the legs back. Exhale, press back down with facing down. On the breath, as you breathe in, step your left foot forward by your left hand. Keep the, toe, keep the hands either side of your front foot. Reach back into your right heel. This is lunge with your toes are curled under. Push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Reach back into your right heel. Press into your left foot, breathe in, lengthen out and up. And as you breathe out, as you go a little deeper, reach back. Your right heel reaches away from you. As you breathe in, lengthen, reach away from sacred. As you exhale, push the floor away with your left foot as you reach back into right heel. One more breath here, deep breath. Exhale, release. Place your hands to the floor, place your right knee to the floor. Is your left foot back slightly for twisting lunge. Your left hand is on to left hip. Breathe in, reach your right arm up. As you breathe out, your right elbow is over your left thigh knee. Make a fist with your right hand, left hand is on top. Press into your right shin. Breathe and lengthen through your right side. Press your left foot to the floor. Exhale, twist to the left. Now breathe this. Feel right down from your pelvic bowl and lengthen belly away from pelvis. 
And as you exhale, as you twist, press the floor away with your left foot, twist to the left, soften your right shoulder away from right finger. Breathe into the left side of your neck, deep breath. And exhale, glide your left shoulder away from left foot. On the next breath, interlock, you're sliding your right arm around the back. Uh, the right arm slides over your left thigh, left arm slides around the back and bind the hands if you can. Or use a strap to bind or use clothing. And then breathe in deeply, keep spreading the ribs. And as you breathe out, pushing the floor away with your left foot as you twist away from your left thigh. Deep breath, lengthen out of lower back. And exhale, both shoulders down. One more breath like this, deep breath. Exhale, release. Bring your hands under the shoulders and step back for plank. Reach back into heels and as you breathe out, lower down, keep elbows tucking in. Cobra, inhale, move chest down, reach forward as you're lengthening legs back. Exhale, press it back, downward dog. On the next breath, as you breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands for lunge with your back toes curled under. And keep the hands to the floor or bring the hands onto your right thigh, traction your right thigh floor. You're going further, you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Reach back into your left heel and then breathe in, lengthen out and up. Push the floor away with your right foot on exhale. Press your right foot to the floor, breathe and lift belly, dive from the chest. As you breathe out, go a little deeper. Feel as if your thighs are moving in opposite directions. Last breath in this deep breath. Exhale, release. Hands to the floor, place your left knee to the floor. Raise your right foot back slightly, setting up for twisting lunge. Your right hand is on to right thigh, breathe in, stretch your left arm up. Exhale, your left elbows over your right thigh knee. Make a fist with left hand. Right hand is on top. Relax your left ear to left shoulder. Press into your left shin and breathe in lengthening ribs away from left hip. Twist to the right on exhale. As you breathe in, lengthen belly away from pelvis. Now twist deeper if you can and glide your right shoulder away from right ear. Now relax your neck and jaw and breathe. Breathe into lower back, lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And exhale, twist to the right. Twisting lunge into lock. Your left arm slides over and then under your right thigh. Right arm is around the back where you're binding the hands if you can. Or grabbing hold of a strap or clothing. And then breathe in, press into that left shin and lengthen your side ribs away from left hip. Press your right foot to the floor on exhale as you twist to the right. Now breathe to your heart, feel for bringing in that warm, that gorgeous energy into heart. And as you breathe out, glide your right shoulder away from right hip. Inhale, expand your ribs wide. Exhale, rolling chest open to right. Inhale, release. Bring your hands over the shoulders and step back into uh, step back into all fours. You'll need your you need your block. So place your block between your ankles. Lie down on your belly for both both with shoulder shrugs. Boxes between ankles. You lie down on your belly and the hands are out towards the side, like in cactus position. So both the shoulders shrug. From here, inhale, lift chest, lift legs, lift arms. And as you breathe out, glide your shoulders down the back, squeeze your elbows in as you lengthen the legs back, squeeze the block. And then breathe in, your arms are reaching forward. Exhale, lift the chest, glide the shoulders down the back, squeeze elbows in, your legs lengthen the back. Three more, inhale, broaden the upper back, arms reach forward. Exhale, lift the chest, glide the shoulders down, squeeze elbows in, squeeze the block. Inhale, broaden the upper back, arms reach forward. 
Exhale, lift up, lie the shoulders down, squeeze the block as you stretch your legs back, spread the toes. One more, breathe in, spread the back. Exhale, lift up, glide the shoulders down as you lengthen the legs back. And release, low down. Hands are under the shoulders, breathe into low back, curl toes under. Exhale, press back for downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in downward dog. On the next breath, as you breathe in, step your, yeah, step your left foot forward between the hands for warrior one. Your right foot towards the right edge of the mat. Push the floor away as you reach your arms up towards the sky. Bend the front knee and then feel for pushing the floor away with your left foot. Lance dodger, keep your right arm reaching up. Bring your left arm around the back, tuck it down onto the sacrum. If you want to go further, you can take hold of the back of your skull and your neck with your right hand. Press back into your right leg. Inhale, lengthen out of right side as you reach your right elbow to sky. Press the floor away with your left foot, but tuck down. Your forearm is tucking the sacrum down. From your pelvic bowl, breathe in, lift belly. Lift down from the chest. And as you breathe out, glide your left shoulder down, but reach your right elbow up. Press into both feet as you breathe in. Feel for pushing the floor away with your feet. As you exhale, continue to push the floor away, but go deeper. Thighs are moving away from each other. Inhale, release. Bring your hands down to the floor, either side of your left foot. Place your right knee to the floor, release the back foot, and then lift your right knee off the floor for arrow lunge. Bring your hands onto your thighs, and this might be your stage. You can go further, reach your arms out and up towards the sky. Press into your right foot as you breathe in, lengthen out. Feel as if you're lengthening ribs away from the thigh. As you exhale, go deeper. The back of your right thigh, the back of the calf reaches skywards. Press your left foot to floor. Breathe in, lift belly, lift down from chest lifts. Exhale, taking it a little deeper. Inhale, release, hands to the floor, set up for lounge lunge. Your right hand, it reaches forward about 12 inches ahead of the shoulder. Your left leg, your right leg lengthens back. Your traction in your thigh forward, which with your left hand. Reach back into your right leg, breathe in, lengthen through the right side of the body. And as you breathe out, moving side wrist, right side wrist to inside of left side. Breathe in and move fairly forward away from pelvis. Press your left foot to the floor as you twist, moving chest to inside of left leg. Right leg is active, lengthen back. Breathe in, breathe into lower back. Exhale, twist, send your right leg back, moving sternum towards the foot. Keep pressing your left foot to the floor. Inhale, release. Hands under the shoulder. Step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down, keep elbows tucking in. Breathe into cobra or up dog, moving chest and ribs forward as you're lengthening your legs back. Exhale, press it back, downward dog, feeling for pushing your way in downward dog. On the next breath, as you breathe in, step your right foot forward by your right hand, warrior one. Left foot is towards the left edge of the mat. Push the foot, turn the foot forward 45 degrees angle, then push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Keep your left arm reaching up, bring your right hand back and tuck the forearm onto sacrum. As you press down into your left leg, breathe in length and out of left side. And as you breathe out, bring the hands behind, taking hold of the back of your neck or just by, the, just by your earlobes. Press your right foot to floor, push the floor away on breath and lift belly, lift down from the chest. As you exhale, push the floor away, reach your left elbow up, glide your right shoulder down, your forearm, right forearm tucks the sacrum down. Breathe in, push the floor away as you lift, keep the strength moving through your legs and into your heart. And as you exhale, taking it a little deeper, keep reaching that left elbow up. One more breath to sternum, deep breath. Exhale, release, hands to the floor. Place your left knee down to the floor and release your back foot. Keep in the hands to the floor, breathe in, lift your left knee off the floor, straight in the left leg, reaching it straight back for arrow lunge. Your hands are then and onto your thigh, 
scratching your thigh forward. You're going further. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Press into your right foot. Breathe and lift the belly away from the right thigh. And as you breathe out, send your left leg straight back. On the breath, left them out of low back. Now push the floor away on exhale. Keep the sternum lifted. One more breath here. Deep breath. Now breathe in and Sorry about that, just some confusing down as well. See that's where we were. Okay, so down with facing dog. From downward facing dog, inhale, step your left foot forward between the hands for warrior two. Reaching your arms out towards the sun. Eagle warrior two, inhale, bring your left arm over your right and bind the hands. And as you breathe out, glide your shoulders back and down. Breathe into back of heart, deep breath. And as you breathe out, reach your forearms forward. One more breath like this. Deep breath. Breathe the sternum. And as you breathe out, reach in your forearms forward. Inhale, release. Reach your arms out to side for reverse warrior. As you breathe in, reach your right arm up, open right side ribs. As you breathe out, reverse. The right hand is below or above the knee. Stretch your left arm over your left knee. Your back is twitchy, bring your right hand higher up. Press into your uh, right leg, inhale, lengthen out of right side. Press your left foot to the floor. You're reaching your left arm over left knee. Now breathe to sternum and move your chest to chin. Exhale, lengthening that left arm over left knee. Use your left arm breathing to pull your body up, right hand supports your foot. Then you worry variation, placing your left forearm onto your thigh and lengthen out of heart. Bring your right arm all the way around the back, tuck it onto the thigh, thigh hip, or kill. Press into your left foot, inhale, lengthen out of left side. And as you breathe out, glide your left shoulder down. You press your right foot to the floor, breathe in, move chest forward to chin. And as you breathe out, you're gliding your right shoulder away from right ear. One more like this, deep breath. And as you breathe out, your shoulders are down. Extend, uh, extended warrior, place your left hand down to the floor on the outside of your right foot, and then reaching your right arm up towards the sky. Now breathe in and feel as if you're pushing the floor. If you have a block, you can have that hand, hand on to block. So you're lengthening forwards out of your left side as you press your right foot, you're reaching your right arm to sky. Deep breath, inhale. And as you breathe out, you're opening out a little bit more. You have the option of staying here or the option of going further into the interlock. By sliding your left arm on the left thigh, the right arm is around. Push the floor away with your right leg as you open it out towards the right. Press your left foot to the floor. And as you breathe in, lengthening ribs forward away from here. And as you breathe out, glide your right shoulder away from right here. Inhale, release. Hands to the floor. Place your left hand onto left thigh. Reach your right arm back towards your right foot. Press into your left leg and breathe in, lengthening the ribs away from left hip. Head to ankle, keep traction in your head to ankle prep. Keep traction in your left thigh towards the left as you bring your forehead towards your right foot ankle. And breathe into your left ribs. Balloon the breath, balloon the wrist towards the left as you bring your forehead towards your right ankle. One more breath like this, deep breath. Exhale, release, back stretch, turn your that left foot forward, both feet are facing in the same direction. And then from here, walk your left hand across, taking hold of your right ankle. And the right hand takes hold of the ankle, or you can reach the hand beyond the, the foot. 
as you press into your left foot, breathe in, balloon the breath into left ribs, and let the ribs balloon towards the left. And as you breathe out, you're moving your chest, your forehead, down towards your right chin. Bend your left elbow, left elbow is reaching the floor. And then breathe in, balloon. Feel as if the ribs are opening out towards your armpit. And exhale as you're taking it a little deeper. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale as you take it deeper. Inhale, release. Walk your hands back towards the either side of your left foot. Bring your right foot slightly towards the right. Now your feet, they're hip distance apart in terms of length. Pyramid is your next pose. So hands are either side of your left foot. Press your left foot to the floor. Breathe in length and belly away from top of left thigh. And as you breathe out, you're folding, bringing your sternum down towards your left shin. And then breathe in, keep lengthening ribs away from sacral. And exhaling as you're folding it a little deeper. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale, taking it a little deeper. A reverse triangle. On the breath, bring your left, sorry, right arm on the outside of your uh, left foot. You can have that right hand on the block. And you're sending your left arm out and up towards the sky. Press into your right foot and breathe in length and ribs away from right hip. And as you press your left foot down to the floor, you're sending your left arm to sky. Now breathe into lower back and lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, reaching your left fingertips to the sky. One more breath there, deep breath. Exhale, release. Bring your hands down either side of your left foot. Step your right leg back and ease your left foot across for pigeon. Your left foot comes towards the right edge of the mat. Hands are under the shoulders. Straighten your right leg if you can. From here, bear down into pelvis, breathe in the belly. Lift down from the chest. And exhale. As you fold forward, reach back into your right big toe. And breathe into lower back, keep lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And breathe out as you fold. Two more breaths like this, deep breath, connecting with your spine. And exhale as you fold, keep sending back, keep reaching back into that right big toe. Inhale, release. Walk your hands back so the hands are under the shoulders. Step back into a downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing your way in your downward dog. On the breath as you breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands for warrior two. Your left foot is square to the short edge of the mat. Line up the front heel with the arc of the back foot. Bend the knees, send your, uh, bend your right knee as straight as your left leg. Reach it back. Hands are out to the side. Eagle warrior, as you breathe in, bring your right arm over left, line the hands. And as you breathe out, fly the shoulders back and down. Press into both feet, breathe in, push the floor away as you stretch up. And as you breathe out, reach in your forearms forward. Now breathe into sternum, deep breath, and feed your heart with this breath. And exhale, reach. Four arms are reaching forward. Inhale, release. Put your arms out towards the side. Reverse warrior as you breathe in. Press into your left leg. Straighten your left arm to start. And exhale, reverse. The left arm is now below or above the knee. Your right arm is reaching up. It reaches over your ear. Now press. Push the floor away with your uh, left leg. Deep breath. And exhale as you push the floor away with your right leg, you're reaching right arm over right ear. Breathe in, lift belly, dive from lift chest. And exhale, you're lengthening that right arm over right ear. 
Use your right arm breathing to pull your body up, left arm supports your head and neck. Bending warrior variation, place your right forearm onto right thigh, you're pushing the thigh away, lifting out, and then bring your left arm all the way around the back, sucking it onto the thigh by your hip. Press down into your right leg as you breathe in, lengthen out of right side. As you breathe out, glide your right shoulder back and down. Relax your right ear to right shoulder. Press your left foot to floor and then breathe in, keep lengthening out of left side. And as you breathe out, you're gliding your left shoulder down, push the floor away with your right leg. Right foot lengthens, pushes the floor. Last breath, deep breath. And exhale, release. Place your right hand to the floor, the outside of your right foot, and you're reaching your left arm up for extended warrior. You can place that hand onto that right hand onto the block as you stretch up. Press into your right leg, breathe in and lengthening the ribs by your right hip. And exhale, opening up as you reach your left fingertips to the sky. You can stay here or the option to go further into lock. Sliding your right arm under the right thigh, left arm is around the back, find the hand. And as you breathe out, move your chest forward and glide your left shoulder away from your left ear. Relax your right ear by right shoulder. Press your right foot to floor. And as you breathe in, glide your ribs along your right thigh. And as you exhale, as you roll your chest open to the left, feel as if you're sending your sit bones back. One more like this, deep breath. Exhale, release. Head to ankle prep. Your right hand is onto right thigh, your traction in your thigh away from you. Your left hand is reaching towards the left foot. So press your right foot to floor and breathe into your right side ribs, deep breath. And as you breathe out, as you're traction your right thigh away from you, you're bringing your forehead back towards your left foot towards your left shin and then breathe into your right ribs balloon the ribs the ribs out towards the right and as you breathe out keep sending your right thigh away from you you're bringing your forehead towards left shin one more like this deep breath and as you breathe out feeling for that opening out a little more inhale Release, back stretch, turn your right foot forward so both feet are facing in the same direction. Bring your right hand across, take hold of your left ankle with right hand and the left hand also takes hold of the ankle or you can move the left hand a little bit further than the left. Press into your uh, right leg, breathe in, balloon the breath into right ribs. And as you breathe out, Lengthen so your right elbow reaches the floor, your forehead is reaching towards your left shin. And then breathe in, keep gliding your right ribs away from right hip. And as you breathe out, you're taking it a little deeper. Two more breaths like this deep breath. And exhale as you take it deep. One more like this, deep breath. And exhale. Inhale, release. Walk your hands to center. And then walk your hands all the way around towards the right foot. Step your left foot slightly towards the left so that your feet, they're now hip distance apart. You're in width waist. They're about three feet apart in length waist. Your next pose is pyramid. So the hands are to the floor, either side of your right foot. Press your right foot to floor and breathe in, lengthen belly away from top of right thigh. Pull your belly in, exhale as you fold, you're moving your forehead down towards your ankle, chest is moving to, to shin. And breathe, keep lengthening belly away from right thigh. And exhale as you fold. Breathe into lower back and length the ribs away from sacrum. Exhale as you fold. Twisting triangle on the breath. Bring your left arm down on the outside of your right foot. You can have a block there 
or the hands to the floor, the hands can be onto the ankle or the palm. Your right arm is reaching up towards the sky. If you feel slightly off balance, then step your left foot slightly towards the left, and it helps to open out into the hips a little deeper. Press your left leg to floor and breathe and lengthen out of left side. And as you breathe out, roll chest open to the right as you reach your right fingertips to the sky. As you press your right foot to floor, breathe in and lengthen belly away from right thigh. And as you exhale, reach back into your left heel as you open towards the right. One more like this, deep breath. Exhale, release. Hands down, either side of your front foot. And step your, step your left leg back and then ease your right foot towards the left edge of the mat for pigeon. So send your left leg straight back, hands are under the shoulders. Bear down into pelvis. Breathe in, lift and lengthen belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, you're folding forward over your right shin. Be active. Deep breath, lengthen belly away from pelvis. And exhale as you fold. Breathe into lower back. Deep breath, lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, as you pull your belly in, glide your right thigh forward, but lengthen back into your left big toe. As you breathe in, you're expanding your ribs to the side. And exhale, belly's in. Push the doorway, breathe in. As you come all, coming all the way back. From here, straighten your legs forward. And then sit up tall, sit bones presses down. As you breathe in, stretch your arms up towards the sky. Forward bend, exhale. Breathe in, lengthen belly away from pelvis. The belly in, exhale as you fold forward, lead your chest forward, but sit bones reach back. Deep breath, expand your ribs to the side. As you breathe out, allowing your body to melt forward. One more breath in, deep breath. Exhaling, feeling for that release as you come. Push the floor away, breathe in as you come in all the way back. Lie down on, on your back. Your neck poses a uh, happy baby. So you lie down onto your back. And the knees are bent. You're reaching your legs up towards the sky. Reach your hands up. The first two fingers take hold, hold of your big toe. Your knees are coming down to armpits. Your heels are reaching to the sky. Now breathe into lower back. Deep breath. Spreading the ribs. Spreading the lower back to floor. And exhale. Draw your knees down to armpits and reach your heels up to sky. And take three breaths here. You're using this breath to help to open up into lower back and ease about. Gently feel as if you're reaching your heels away from you on exhale. Breathe in into where you're feeling this most. As you breathe out, feel for this opening. Knees are down, heels are up. One more breath like this, deep breath. Exhale, reach heels away from you. Belly's pulling in. Release. Use your hands, draw your knees together. And place the soles of your feet onto the floor. Let your arms come out towards the side. And then breathe in. And as you breathe out, let your knees come down towards your right side. And your head is in the opposite direction. 
Now breathe in and lengthen belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, relax your left shoulder away from him. Breathe into lower back and lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And exhale, allowing your body to let go. Feel for the softening of your rib cage and sternum. Now breathe the sternum, deep breath. Relax your jaw on exhale. One more breath to your spot, deep breath. Exhaling, feeling that release as you let go. Press your arms to floor. Breathe in, draw the knees back to center. And as you breathe out, the knees are coming down to the other side. Knees come down towards your left armpit. Your head is in the opposite direction. And then breathe in, lengthening ribs away from sacrum. Exhale, softening your right shoulder away from right ear. Breathe in, moving belly away from pelvis. Chest is rising to chin. And relax your neck. Relax your print. Soften chest. Soft, soften the area around your right rib cage. And then breathe again. Deep breath. So feed your heart with this breath. And exhale, let your shoulders soften down. Breathe into your spot, deep breath. Exhale, let go. Keep the arms pressed into the floor. Breathe in one by one. Bring your feet back to center. And then place your feet to the floor. You can stay here with the soles of your feet to the floor or bring the soles of your feet together, knees out to the side or straight your legs. If you do lengthen your legs away from you, bring your feet a little bit wider on your mat. So that is helping to open into the hips and the lower back. Close your eyes and lie down your chest. Your body to completely relax in Shabbat.
Move your fingertips and tips of toes. Feeling the energy as it enters your body, allow the energy to move through the whole of your body. So, with your breath, start to deepen your breath. As you exhale, exhale completely. Taking a couple more breaths in and bringing it to where you need it most. And I'm stretching away, that feels good. On your next breath, bend your knees and roll to your left side towards your heart center. Your right hand is to the floor by chest, breathe in. Push the floor away on exhale as you're coming up, coming into a seated position, cross leg. So you're in the way that is comfortable with you this year. Bring your hands together as light and touch and stir. Give yourself time to notice how you feel and congratulate yourself for your practice today. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice. Finishing with a breath, a deep breath. And exhale. Namaste.
everyone.